Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to generate the test artifacts. Test artifacts include test execution result report, exception logs, screenshot. Basically, whatever you get as an output after executing your test. Usually, the test artifacts will get generated once the execution of all the stages are over. So we need to identify is there any kind of declarative available which will get fired after the execution of all the stages. So here we need to define the steps for test artifacts generation. I'm going to take the help of Jenkins pipeline syntax to identify is there any kind of declarative present which will get fired after the execution of all the stages. So here I will navigate to declarative directive generator. So we do have one declarative that is post, post stage or build condition. So I'm going to use this directive. And these are the condition which you can configure along with this directive. So I'm going to select the condition which says that always run regardless of the build status. That means whether the build is failed or passed, this post action will get executed. So this is my directive. I'm going to add this inside our pipeline script. So inside this declarative, I'm going to define the step for archiving the artifact as well as publishing the report. And the reason why I'm going to publish the HTML report is because if you look at the stage for test execution, we have configured the logger as type HTML. So it is going to generate the HTML report. Now again, I will go back to the Jenkins pipeline syntax and navigate to the snippet generator. So there is a sample step for archiving the artifact. We need to specify the folder location. So let me navigate to the workspace. So when we run our test using the VS test console executable, it will generate all the result inside this directory that is test result. So I will specify the test result directory for archive artifact step and then click on generate pipeline script. So this is our script. I'm going to add this in our pipeline. Let me search again. Is there any sample step available for publishing the HTML report? So we do have published HTML step. And again, I'm going to specify the same directory here also because the HTML report will get generated inside this directory. So click on generate pipeline script and this is the script for the step. I'm going to save this and build it again. So the execution is done. Let me look at the logs for the post action. So it has archived the artifact and also published the HTML report. So let me go to the build number 30. So this is the result report. And this is the artifact. So when we execute our test using the VS test console. We have only HTML file which got generated as an artifact. That's why it, this is the only file which will be archived and which will be also published. If you look at our pipeline script under the post action, we have set fingerprint value to true. So this is going to link the artifact to a build number. So if I go to the build number 30, you see there is an option that is C fingerprint. This is the name and location of the report file. Click on more details and this will tell you the build number also. So this information you can get only when you set the fingerprint argument as true. 